right, I think we're all set and good to get started. So, welcome everyone to the Calabalan Co-op Town Hall, our 13th edition. We are joined today on the Calabalan side by Anjali and James Young, both our officers for the Calabalan Co-op, as well as co-founders of Abridge.io, the creator of Calabland. The mission of Collabland is to create and enable community tools that encourage pro-social activity, as well as enabling collaboration and positive community interactions. Anjali and James have been strong champions of this mission, and it is great to have them both here. Welcome, Anjali and James. Thank you so much, Chibi, for having us. I think James is going to come over to my side. I'm not sure. He may or may not be. Um, but thanks. It's so exciting to be yeah. here. I'm. Thank you, everyone, for coming. I'm just, yeah. Thank you, GM. GM, everyone. I'll come over. <laughs> I love that. Additionally, I Speak Nerd and Candy will be joining the panel today. They are both amazing Calablang Palms team members focused on security, community, marketing, and magic. Welcome, you guys. Thank you so much, Chibi. It's always an honor to join this team here with the community to share all the exciting things happening in Collabland Co-op. Heck yeah. Thanks for hosting, Chibi. Glad to be here. Hey, everyone in the audience. GM. Absolutely. Yes, I see more people joining. So GM, everyone, and welcome. Just a couple of points to note before we kick off the conversation. We have a bow up for today, which will be distributed by the end of the call. And we will be using the bow up mini app to claim today's bow up. It's a very easy process. We will guide you through it when the bow up is available to be claimed. And it's all done within Discord. So, again, very, very easy, quick process. And again, that will be available by the end of the call. So just to give you a heads up so that you are prepared. All right. And with this, we are good to start the conversation. And our first topic for today's town hall is the Collabland Co-op. And we would like to talk about the latest updates when it comes to the co-op. For this, maybe Jane, can you give us some of the latest updates? What can we share with our community today? Yes. Uh, thank you, Chibi. So excited uh, to give uh, some updates here. Um, we're aiming to start governance within the next two weeks, and uh, we're currently working on a, a front end uh, to deal with uh, the delegation contracts to make it easier. Uh, for everyone. Uh, there is a lot of innovation uh, that uh, we've been working on with origami uh, so that, um, and I won't get into too much detail here, but we as a team and investors and everyone um, that is core that started with Collabland have all of our tokens time locked. So uh, we uh, are happy to have them time locked. We are committed and uh, we want to, though, be able, even though they're time locked, to be able to use them for voting. And this is part of our larger initiative as we get into uh, progressive decentralization. We can talk about that more in the future, but uh, the front end here is really for those that are not um, as technical to be able to delegate their votes, even though they're time locked. So a lot of it is like admin internal stuff that we're dealing with. Um, and a lot of this, uh, we're going to talk about as well in our updated token story, but also Origami is going to post on their site as well. And we're going to make sure that we send out all the links and everything like that uh, for everyone uh, to dig in and, and, and fully understand. But that's what we're working on right now. Uh, and uh, excited to have governance starting very, very soon. Uh, I will also mention about governance starting. There are communities in the top 100 communities that didn't uh, make it. 
they, um, you know, we have a three month time period. It ends today and they didn't make it into, you know, they just didn't do it on time. And so their questions that came up are like, how do we, is there still an opportunity for us to claim collab land tokens as part of the top 100 communities? And so what we're telling them is now they need to take it to the DAO. So yes. they're probably going to be amongst the first, um, DAO proposals we also see is top 100 communities have amazing proposals, but they just didn't make it into the time limit for this three month time limit. I wanted to add that on, Chibi. Yeah, I appreciate that information. And maybe, Nerd, can you tell us a little bit more about the latest updates about the Globlin Co op? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he said uh, governance going live very soon, y'all. I have something for y'all to look at this time. Not just uh, not just trust me, I know. Uh, but we have the governance, uh, some information about governance on the help docs right now. I just shared a link in the stage chat if you guys want to go check that out. It shares some information about the, you know, what is the amount required for to create a proposal? What's our quorum threshold going to be? Uh, or our quorum requirement going to be? How's that all working? What is the proposal process look like? That we have a beautiful diagram that I definitely didn't steal off Compound's website. Um, and uh, yeah, it's super, super exciting to be able to publish some of that information and get that stuff up. And that's... Uh, so that will be updated as uh, more things go live. And there's still some things that are, there's definitely some things that are missing um, from those docs. So um, it'd be really helpful, y'all, if you'd go check those out and then, you know, at me for anything that's missing or that you're like, yo, this, this shit doesn't make sense. Fix this. Um, but, you know, please, uh, more, <laughs> better feedback than that, please. <laughs> but uh, just being constructive feedback for those things. Um, the we're collecting a delegate list right now we're starting our delegate list for people who want to be uh delegated to and be participating in the collab land co-op governance process so everyone uh can participate themselves they can you can register to vote you will be able to register to vote and to participate you know with whatever amount of collab that you personally hold um but if you're interested in being a delegate and having other people delegate to uh, other people delegate to you, then you can add yourself to the list that we are collecting here. What? Now there are some um, there are some not requirements, but like expectations for delegates. Uh, basically, you know, being involved in governance, abiding by the rules of conduct, which is you know, what you all said you agreed to when you minted a DAO pass. So it's nothing new there, but just, you know, a reminder to that we're expected to abide by those things. And if you're interested in doing that, you can reply to the topic that I just shared on the governance forum. <gasps> what? Collab governance forum? Yeah. Um, reply with, you know, your handle, whatever handle you choose to you know, go by your name, basically. Um, a social profile link, Twitter is very much preferred, um, but yeah, a social profile link, and then uh, the wallet address that you'd like uh, people to delegate to um, eventually. And as I described on that uh, forum page, we will be migrating to a meta governance um, style delegation process um, at some point. That's things like boardroom or what's the other one? Uh, tally. Um, but at this stage, we don't uh, we don't have that. This is kind of our minimum, our MVD, our minimum viable delegation for this process. So if you're interested, you can throw your throw your info up on that uh, governance forum. Uh, you're going to need to create an account on that governance forum, and you guys can go ahead and do that. Uh, thank you, Nerd. One more thing I wanted to add is that we did initially. Um, attempt to do all of the proposals through Discord. And that was the idea initially, but it wasn't until uh, Nerd actually witnessed uh, Chibi and I going through the top 100 proposals that he was like, wait a minute, this may not work for when we go live. So do you want to speak to that a like for a minute, Nerd? Um, Discourse has some advantages over Discord. Um, specifically with open data. In other words, it's accessible from the outside. It's not locked within Discord. Um, and it uses markdown form formatting. Uh, well, 
He uses markdown formatting for stuff so you can have a better, much better formatting in your posts because Discord's been saying that that's coming to forums, but it's not here and we need it. So that's like you know putting in headers and spacing and sizes and being able to drag and drop uh, image uploads and all that sort of stuff. Um, and you can see the edit history of uh, of posts. So in other words, if you see a post that's got like you know twelve edits on it or whatever, you can go back and see the previous uh, previous edits. And so it's just all and see and see, I guess yeah. See those different versions. So there's a better versioning history um, of stuff. And so we're really excited to be able to uh, to share that with people. And uh, there will be some connection with your. Um, I'd like to have a di uh, connection with your, the social profiles that people use in Discord or Telegram, whatever their primary means of communication is. Um, but uh, that is something that we're going to build in later. Again, this is our min minimum viable uh, governance forum as well. Um, and it's strongly preferred simply for being a uh, uh, discourse is kind of the industry standard for crypto uh, governance forums because of those reasons that I mentioned with um, you know, markdown formatting, open data, it's highly customizable. Um, you can self-host it so that uh, you can own the data and we're not dependent on Discord uh, locking locking us out or shutting the community down for whatever reason um, and all that stuff. Discourse Airtune is the uh, platform that is hosting our governance forum. And that is, if you scroll up in the chat, if you go into the stage chat and scroll up a little bit, the Season Zero DAO Governance Delegates is our discourse instance for Collabland, where you're welcome to uh, reply to that topic, create an account and reply to that topic if you would like to be uh, listed as a delegate um, for people to delegate to once a delegation goes live, which uh, James was just talking about. Um, he's building a front end for those delegation contracts for people to interact with it. And uh, so everyone's going to be able to do that. And we're going live very, very soon, y'all. And once you have, um, like, let's say you're not sure what proposal you want to put up or you don't have any ideas specifically for a proposal you want to put up yourself, but having a lot of votes delegated to you means that you can sponsor somebody else's um, proposal. Isn't that true, Nerd? Mm -hmm. Yep. It's, what is it, 650,000 collab, I think, um, is the proposal threshold. So you would need to somewhat, people... Individual accounts need to have that amount, or individual wallets need to have that amount of collab delegated to them in order to uh, create the proposals on the governor contract. In other words, to effectively sponsor proposals uh, for creation, even if it's not uh, your idea. So, like if uh, if Zfi was coming in and like got a got a really good idea, but doesn't have the amount of collab to create that proposal, uh, Zfi needs to you know find someone who's willing to sponsor it and create that proposal. Uh, and um, that's the role of the uh, delegates who have enough collab to do that. Have enough collab voting power, I should say. Thank you for that. Sorry, Chibi. <laughs> yes, that's an excellent, uh, excellent answer there, Ariane. Thank you. Modern forum software for community as a mailing list, discussion forum, long form chat room, and more. Uh, we are not plan. I think I disabled chat. Uh, we're not planning to use it for chat, but mailing list and discussion forum uh, definitely. Then you are rich, Ayutande. You are rich in in life and in collab. <laughs> Love the information. Well, thank you, nerd. I do have one more question for you, if that's okay. I know that we had a voting for our season zero of the mini apps that are going to be in the marketplace. So can you tell us a little bit about that voting, what the results were, and yeah, any information you can share with us about that? Not only can I tell you, I can show you. So oh I, just linked it, I just linked it right there, y'all. Um, that's the Mini App Madness Season Zero voting uh, for those mini apps. Uh, Chain Patrol uh, passed with 81 votes, 100% uh, yes is uh, W3W, uh, approved with 85 votes, 100% yes. Um, 
and uh, IO check the uh, check that uh, governance link above this one. Um, but those things uh, pass, so both of those will be entering the mini app marketplace. Uh, Chain Patrol and Spark AI docs are already up on help.collab.land. Um, I am trying to work. I am working with the W3W folks to get the, their docs up as well about how to get started with uh, their mini app. But I will just share the link to the Chain Patrol one. Um, is there? So you guys can check out how to get started with uh, Chain Patrol once it gets listed on Prod, uh, which will be happening also soon. Um, da -da -da -da. Sorry, I'm just checking what this link is. I want to make sure I give you guys the right link. Uh, yeah, that's the same one. Um, so you can visit that thread that I linked above uh, the Mini App Madness Season Zero voting for information about those projects and their mini apps. Uh, along with seeing the actual votes that happened. Awesome. Thank you so much, Nerd. I'm really looking forward to trying these mini apps. Let's go. <laughs> All right. And with this, I think that we are good to talk about our next topic for today's town hall, and that is product updates. So for this, I have a couple of questions for james and these are about the gm pass so james can you tell us a little bit about the gm pass uh, what's that about what's its purpose what can you share with us about gm pass yeah i'm super excited about the gm pass um i'll keep it very high level uh, i tend to talk in technical detail but really what it is, is your decentralized identity. And uh, we see in the Collabland servers that there's a discrepancy between those that actually have like a wallet and are gated behind different private channels versus those that are in like general channels uh, that don't have a wallet or, you know, are interested in NFTs or crypto in general, but don't know how to start. Uh, and it is really a, a high barrier for some in terms of being able to get a wallet like MetaMask and learn how to be able to uh, secure their you know, seed phrase and their private keys. And it's a bit daunting and you hear about scammers and it's just kind of scary. So what we wanted to do is enable anyone that's in a Collabland managed Discord server to be able to get a decentralized identity. And that's what we're branding the GM Pass. And this is non-custodial. Uh, we are working with a, a partner, Lit Protocol. And what we are doing is providing a, an identity for you as a user using multi-party computation. So you can look up MPC. Uh, you can look up Lit Protocol. And uh, we're super excited by this and we are showcasing this inside of uh, the Collabland Discord server first. So uh, as we roll out new and exciting products, and this is just the tip of the iceberg, this GM pass is going to unlock a lot of interactivity uh, for those of you that are interested in crypto but don't really know how to start or begin. We're gonna give everyone an identity first. So if you want to start trying this, maybe we can actually uh, do this right now. Um, let me see. Uh, Here. In, in Discord, what I will do, I am in front of Anjali's computer, so this is going to come to Anjali. But what I will do is send Chibi a, uh, a kudos. So if you go slash kudos, give i'm doing this in the stage text channel right now uh for host thank you chibi for hosting uh the town um and you will see here that uh when i send a kudos to chibi um it's going to be using utilizing the gm pass and everyone can see it uh and everyone can claim a gm pass by just doing a slash kudos 
give and just giving a kudos to other people in the Collabland Discord server. And you'll automatically be uh, you'll going through the flow of getting a GM pass. So what exactly is a kudos? I mean, what if no one's ever heard this concept before? How would you describe it? The concept of a kudos is a, it's actually a signed message. So it's using the same cryptography as you would by sending a transaction. But this kudos is off chain. It's not sending a transaction. So you don't need any gas to pay for it. But it uses the same cryptography. So it's an off chain message. So now with this GM pass, I can say with my GM pass, my decentralized identity, I have sent a kudos to Chibi to her decentralized identity. And so now we can take these kudos and we can take them outside of Discord. We can take them to other DAOs. We have a lot of initiatives in the works to make this easy so that, for example, if you are doing a lot of great work and getting a lot of recognition in the Collabland Discord server and you want to apply, let's say, to join another DAO or NFT project, these kudos can actually serve as like your reputation. Mm -hmm. And this is where we believe the kudos and the GM passes will uh, allow people to build up their decentralized reputation. And this is going to really help over time with knowing who to trust and who you're connected to. Uh, and uh, we think that this is going to be a cornerstone, uh, you know, as we move more into decentralized identities, because your online identity should be owned by you. I love that. I mean, really, what? how can we better serve our communities? And this is one way, which is helping you build your crypto, your Web3 reputation. Even with us, a Collabland team or a bridge, like the way we grow our team, the way we've hired people in the past hasn't been what they've done before they got here. But it's been about what they're doing in the space that we care about, which is Web3 and crypto. So we want to give that, you know, share that with everybody. So that way there are no more gatekeepers to your reputation. You know, it's not like people are going to have to call your boss and say, um, what does this person do? Hopefully you'll get to a point where you have enough kudos, have enough verifiable credentials, have enough reputation points that you'll be able to own, own your reputation and for it to not be uh, determined by somebody else. So hope everyone loves this. This is just the beginning of it. Uh, we're just all very, very excited. Mm -hmm. Indeed, and thank you guys. Um, just a quick, quick summary on how to claim your GM pass if you haven't yet, guys. You can use slash kudos send. It's a slash command within Discord. And try to send a kudos to anyone. If you do not have a GM pass yet, you will see... I'll send a screenshot real quick. You will see a claim now button. You can click that and then your GM pass will be generated. Arian's asking how to check GM pass. I'm not sure if there's a way using the bot. Maybe James, do you know? Yeah, there is a kudos history. Uh, we don't have, and this is part of what we're doing, slowly rolling out the GM pass. We'll have a GM pass command and... Um, but we don't have one yet. But we don't have one yet. And more importantly, uh, we are hard at work and uh, we're in the building stages of uh, a wider portal that will incorporate the GM pass and a lot of other features. Uh, I don't want to talk too much about it. It's still in development right now. Uh, and this is where we'll really be able to begin to see this intersection between Web3 and AI. Uh, we're hard at work at it, uh, so stay tuned. Yeah, it is a 404 error right now. We haven't, this is really our first tiny bit of exploration with the GM pass. So it's still very, very early. Right now, we're only using it to send and receive uh, kudos within the Collabland server. So you're not going to get this outside the Collabland server. This is literally just um, building with all of you and showing you kind of what's coming up first and getting some really great suggestions. I mean, like uh, Instant Karma, you gave that um, suggestion about referrals. And so I just turned to James and I said, that's interesting. People that help other people create a GM pass. Like, is there some referral program? I don't know. That's something to think about. So yeah, this is kind of what we're hoping for, putting it in the Collabland server first, 
uh, sharing it with all of you. This is not going to be the final version of the product, but this is like um, this little is actually, bits that we're yeah, sharing. Yeah, this is the actual first version. And, yeah. uh, you know, it's not fully complete, but this is our way of building in public. And we really want interaction and feedback from the community. And yeah. we're going to be... Uh, doing this more often and you know as uh, oh yeah with new products that come out we'll be sharing them in the clubland uh discord first so yeah it is fun to be able to share that yeah and you know these are really strong fundamental ideas that are driven by our values uh yeah. and um you know as paul graham says if you're not embarrassed by your first launch then you've launched too late so we want to launch early and often so this is a building in public Please provide feedback. Love the referral suggestion. Well, but then Airtune, see, this is perfect because an Airtune said, be careful with incentives like referrals since people might just start farming them. Exactly. Yeah. So this is this is the conversation to be had. It's like, yes, we want to serve the public and we want to serve our community. And we, we do want to recognize people for doing for engaging, yeah. but then you also can't have a system that's gamed. So maybe that's a future conversation we can have a balancing in public conversation. That's right. That. It's oh, all I love that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we need everyone's voices and everyone's help and collaboration with yeah. this together. Exactly. We're not sitting here saying like, look, we know what's what we should all be doing and we're all going to do it that way. That's the reason we became a co-op is so that we could have everybody's voices involved and that, you know, we've done our best to get this far together and we're so, so humbled by that and take that responsibility very seriously. But now I love the idea of having everyone participate in the community. So thank you all for being here. Uh, sorry to be off script a little bit, a little bit, but thank you for giving us some. Perfectly fine. And thanks, everyone, uh, for your comments. We really, really appreciate them, and we consider them. So for these or for anything else, always share your feedback because it is truly important for us. And yeah, thanks, Anjali and James. I think that we are good to talk a little bit about our top 100 communities now. There are some updates when it comes to our top 100 and token claim. So what are some of these updates? We have finalized um, reviewing all of the proposals that were sent um, for our round three, our very last round, and all of the feedback was shared with them. A lot of communities are still completing the steps that they need to do before claiming their tokens. And yeah, we aim to finalize all of these within the next couple of weeks, but all of the rounds are um, closed now. All of the proposals from these top 100 communities were already submitted. And again, they need to complete, to complete some steps before receiving their tokens. But we will, of course, keep you all posted when this happens and all of these proposals are public let me share real quick a link to our mirror in case that you would like to read these proposals or you can also go to the top 100 proposals all of the information is public all of the proposals with the, their details um how they plan on giving out the tokens when what's the timeline all of the information is there and also you will find the feedback that we give them and the steps that they need to complete before claiming their tokens. So if you're interested or part of any of these communities and want to know um, how they're doing and what's the, the next steps they need to do, you can check these top 100 proposals channel and find all of the information there. Uh, lastly, oh my God, token claim period ends today after three months. And this is for everybody. So if you're listening and you are eligible to claim tokens and you haven't yet, this is the time. Like uh, This is the very last day um, that you can do this. So please go and do it. And this is also for the top 100 communities. Um, today is the very, very last day. So just to share that reminder with you guys. Um, well, Nerd posted in here. That's very thankful. Um, that's a very helpful. Thank you, Nerd. It ends in seven hours. So 
yeah, that's that's today. And I guess just to also mention that all unclaimed tokens will return to the DAO treasury because we see that question a lot in the chats. So I think it's worth mentioning. Again, all unclaimed tokens. This includes the top 100 communities that did not claim their tokens and also members that did not claim their tokens. All of those will return to the DAO treasury, the collab and DAO treasury. So yeah, just to just share that reminder with you guys. That's, I think, all when it comes to top 100 communities. Uh, process is, is still ongoing, but we'll keep you posted when new batches of tokens go out. We tend to announce that. And yeah, just to keep you guys posted with any updates, any, any news when it comes to top 100 communities. Also, I wanted to add something on to the token claim, which is, you know, there's a lot of like price talk that happens everywhere about, you know, oh, this is only so many cents, or if you only got 10 tokens that it's whatever, I think right now it's 12 cents. And so why should I even bother getting them? But what it is, is an invitation to join our co-op. It's an opportunity to grab a DAO pass and have a voice and have a vote, especially now um, in getting in early with having a voice in what happens with Collabland in the future. So if you care about what happens with crypto communities, tokenized communities, this is really an invitation to have um, participation with, um, with Collabland. So I really hope that you do uh, join. Um, because yes, this is really, it's not going to be about the money that you're making on the token. It's going to be about um, being able to join and participate, um, participate with Collabland, which I really hope you all do. Uh, and really the whole idea is the members of the co-op work together to bring value to the co-op. So it's like a joint effort. We're inviting all of the community themselves to join in and work with us on this. So I hope you do take that opportunity to grab those tokens to participate and, and join us here at the co-op. Absolutely. We would love to have you all be part of the DAO. So yeah, thanks, Anjali. And with this, we are going to talk about community and events, which is our very last topic for today's town hall and it includes a lot of exciting stuff so first 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 um let's let's talk about our ai and collabland research team meetup we had one of these sessions yesterday and maybe james can you share a quick recap with everyone listening in case okay, that they yeah. missed this event yeah, uh, really quick. Uh, at the meetup, uh, announced the GM pass and uh, what we are doing with it with regards to decentralized identity and uh, how that will intersect with AI and AI specifically in DAOs and how we'll be able to first use AI to be able and summarize uh, all our participation across multiple DAOs and how that will transition into AI agents. And not only does this sound like science fiction or um, you know, kind of weird, but and I don't want this to be just things that we talk about. So that's why uh, we wanted to couple this with the announcement of the GM pass um, with kudos, because we have a lot um, in the works when it comes to reputation uh, and identity and uh, setting ourselves up for AI agents in DAOs and what the future implications of that uh, will be. And then we had a, a quick uh, QA session there. Oh, sorry. And I'm hoping that, uh, you know, we get more people involved. Uh, the next uh, AI meetup uh, will be June 5th. We have them every two weeks. So please bring your question and ideas. And uh, this is really an interactive session uh, because uh, we can come up with some foundational ideas, but we need everyone in the community to come up and figure out how together we can actually use AI. And so please bring your questions June 5th, uh, every two weeks. And you can find the recordings in the uh, hashtag recordings post on, in the events room. Awesome. Thank you so much, James. I will link the recordings post. 
I'm just the case that anyone would like to take a look at that. It's in the state chat. So again, you can find these recordings in that post. You can follow the post if you would like to receive notifications for when we post new recordings for our events. Again, thank you, James. I am loving these sessions. So if anyone is interested or has um, experience with AI or would just like to to join and see what Collabland is doing when it comes to AI, you are all invited. Again, the next session is in two weeks. So I hope to see you guys there. Now for another very exciting event. Uh, it happened just yesterday too. Yes, 22nd. Um, this is Global Pizza Day Party and for this, I want to know um, how it was for, for Anjali. Maybe can you give us a quick re recap um, about, the, about this party, this global party? Yes, it's a global pizza party. For those of you who already know, let's form group.xyz. One of our uh, Collabland short documentaries is about snacks and pizza dough. So I have been a longtime fan of snacks and pizza dough. And when we had this opportunity to make these films, um, I immediately thought of him because what a joy and a delight he is as a human being. Um, and he's just so full of life and I adore him. And his um, movement around pizza and using pizza as a way to introduce people to blockchain technology, to cryptocurrency. So it's just such a beautiful way to show share what we're doing. Uh, and every time I talk about that, I realize how cult-like it sounds. <laughs> so, you know, we've talked about that a little bit. But anyway, I really do um, support everything that Snacks is doing. And so when he reached out about being a global sponsor for Collabland for the Global Pizza Party, I was truly moved and touched. Um, it was such a beautiful thing to be asked to be able to be or asked to be a part of something like this. Um, I just love it. And so, yes, Collabland got to be global sponsors. If you look around all the parties, Collabland, all of you who are part of the Collabland Co-op, our logo is on all the posters and all the websites. I mean, what a joy to see. Uh, yesterday, James and I went to our local um, global pizza party. It was We live in Denver, so it was a Denver party. And we had so much fun, got to see so many friends from East Denver, so many people from the NFT scene here and the mural scene, art scene a street art scene here in Denver. Um, it was just a beautiful thing. And so definitely um, had the best time and, you know, shared some Collabland spins and a, um, some Collabland stickers, but really uh, getting to talk to new people about crypto and meeting old friends. It's just um, a wonderful way to celebrate this, which is really crypto's only holiday. So, um, and of course it commemorates um, so, uh, someone, I forgot his name, but like 10 years ago using paying for pizza with 10,000 Bitcoin. And it was the first like um, real use of Bitcoin um, or any cryptocurrency. So we celebrate that all together. So thanks, Chibi, for letting me talk about it. Absolutely. And I also attended to the pizza party in Buenos Aires. Um, I had Air Tuna Noobs join me and it was a lot of fun. Uh, we met some cool people. We had pizza. Um, yeah, it, it was a nice experience. Music was a bit too loud, so it's kind of difficult. I heard from Oops that this is normal in crypto events. Like, it's you just have to kind of yell. And I don't attend to many, but yeah, this one was the same. It was still pretty cool. At least music was good, which is nice. Um, there were some people presenting. It was an overall really good experience. And yeah, excited to attend to the future ones. I, I love this whole concept and I love um, to be able to share um, with, uh, with other people. Like I had a friend coming to that has absolutely no idea about crypto or um, any experience at all. So I feel like it's a great starting point and yeah, really looking forward for the next ones. I think it was very, very fun. Oh, Ertin saying my voice is gone. Like, yeah, yeah, I, I feel that. Mine isn't, but I, I don't know. It, it's just hard to communicate <laughs> without um, raising your voice. 
Uh, but yeah, that's for Global Pizza Day Party. It was lots of fun. And I think it was celebrated in about like 120 cities. So that's crazy. Like that's, it's a really global celebration. And I think that's super, super exciting. So yeah, that's for, for Global Pizza Day Party. It was really fun. And now another very, very exciting celebration. Um, it's Calabalan's birthday party. So maybe, Anjali, would you like to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so this is Calabalan's third birthday um, this month, May of 2020. James, do you want to speak? Actually, I'm going to put him on the spot for a second. Do you remember, <laughs> like, what was that first time getting any kind of feedback about Calabalan? I think it was that hackathon, right? Yeah, um... It's a good question. I think that uh, the first kind of uh, response from uh, Collabland, like, oh, this is interesting, but why would anyone want to use it? Uh, <laughs> was really the feedback initially. And then what like, why it, would any what purpose would token gating serve? Yeah, it's just like it's so weird. It's like niche and like no one's going to ever use it, really. Uh, and this is, you know, before the NFTs, before like the ERC-20 social tokens took off. Uh, and so uh, it was uh, really interesting. But then what had happened was uh, I know Jordan Lyle from Consensus. And uh, this is when like DeFi summer started taking off and he created meme coin. And uh, it was uh, a curation play where you had to have 100 meme coin and then you get to vote for which NFT artists uh, to support. And this is before the NFT PFP run happened. Mm -hmm. uh, this is before Board Ape, I believe. Oh, by far. This is like um, September, October of 2020. Yeah. And so and that. Board Ape in comparison is like April, May of 2021. 20... Yeah. Yeah. So it's all kind of blurry to me. But um, yeah. So back then it was like social tokens. And then there was like friends for friends with benefits and there are these other uh social tokens and we're like oh this could be useful for erc20 tokens mm -hmm. and so and this is before nfts were on the radar but yeah that's when we thought oh okay we see this um kind of group mind forming and it was really useful there uh and people wanted to be part of these groups um because um they found it useful and uh, if you have a mission and you have a goal for you know your community uh you know, we, I saw the power in that. And then when NFTs took off, it was just kind of off to the races. Yeah, thank you. I totally put him on the spot for that. But I thought, why not uh, get a little bit of info from the early days? <laughs> anyway, uh, that was, uh, thank you for that. I really appreciate that. Yeah. So that was three years ago this month, everybody. It's very, it's surreal and it's beautiful. And time is precious and our life is precious. And the moments of how we spend our life are precious. So um, feels really great to be doing this work. It, I just, it fills me with so much joy. Okay, so we are doing a community Twitter spaces. So our collab dot community on um, on Thursday, and I'll let Tan Candy talk about that a little bit. Is going to be about collab land birthday. So Candy, can you speak a little about that? I absolutely can. So we are having a birthday party for Collabland on Thursday during our normal Twitter Spaces time. This will be at 1.30 p.m. Eastern, 10.30 a.m. Pacific. And this will be super exciting because, uh, you know, as we always do during our Twitter Spaces, we're going to have pull up, but it's going to be birthday themed and you know we love the birthdays um the collabland core team will join and be talking about you know what they do here at collabland and their experiences throughout the last three years which is really exciting um you know so we're going to be talking about early days of collabland milestones um you know just lots of reminiscing and future looking hopes and dreams for what the collabland co-op will become with the help of our amazing community. So looking forward to it. Thank you, Candy. And we're having a second event to celebrate Galavlan's third birthday party. And that's, I'm so excited. Uh, that's a karaoke event. I am a huge, huge fan of karaoke events. Like I, 
I love doing a lot of activities and events, but this is by far my favorite. It's I, I just love them so much. Um, so this is happening on uh, this coming Friday. And if you would like to sing, all you have to do is to show up um, in the Radio Voice channel in, here in the Calabland Discord server this Friday, May 26th, starting at 4 p.m. Eastern. There's a Discord event that's created already, so why not share that? If you would like to hit the interested button, it will let you know when the event is getting started. And if you wouldn't like to sing, because I get it, it's, it's kind of difficult to overcome that maybe fear. Like, I, I get it. That's perfectly fine. Um, if that happens, it's okay. You can just join and listen to the live performances and music. We'll also have music for when people are not singing. And I think it's going to be very exciting. I wanted to give some tips maybe for the people who, who do want to sing. Uh, we're going to have a music bot and we can play the songs through the bot. But I do not recommend doing that because there's usually a delay um, when you try to sing along with um, the music the bot is playing. So it's likely that people are going to listen to the music and then listen to your voice at different times. And that's not ideal. So what I recommend to do and what I have done in the past and also what, what participants have done in the past in my karaoke events is that I, for example, have one device um, in where I have my mic on, like right now I have my laptop, and then I use a different device. Um, I use my phone usually and I play the music through my phone and I speak in my laptop. So you guys would be able to listen to my background music as I also speak in, in my laptop and there's not, not going to be any delay because I will be listening to the music in real time. And it usually works pretty well, at least when I have tried in the past. Um, also feel free to, like when you join, we can test it first before you sing. We can troubleshoot and find the best way um, to make it work. But yeah, that's what I usually do. Also, if you need the lyrics, we can post them in the server or you can look for them by yourself and, and have, have them available for when you want to sing. So I'm very, 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 very excited. And I really encourage you guys to, to participate. I, at first, like at my very first karaoke event, I was really scared. I am not an extrovert, uh, but people were so nice and there was a lot of people joining and wanting to share like from so many different cultures and from so many parts of the world that I thought like, I mean, this is fun. And they were so encouraging and nice that I, I just, I did it and it felt really nice to like overcome that fear. So really, you're all welcome to join. And I hope that you have a lot of fun. I, I really love karaoke events. So sorry if I, I sound too chill about it. But yeah, that's happening. Hope to see you guys there. I hope that the time works for you guys and that you can attend at least for a little bit. Um, I estimate that the event is going to last for about two hours, maybe. That's usually um, for how long I prepare them to be. But you can join at any point. If you would like to just sing a quick song or if you're not available for the whole thing, that's totally fine. But I would really, really, really love to see you guys there. Um, I'm not sure if Angeli mentioned it, but just real quick and, and very quiet because I'm not sure if it's totally fine to, to announce this, but we're going to have really cute bow-ups, real special bow-ups for both of these events. So oh, I forgot to say that. Sorry, Chibi. Yes, and it wasn't for any reason. And I know it's very scary to say it because we do not want to upset our friends at Poop in any way. But I feel like it's okay to say it for this one as well because it's going to be a really cute birthday one. So extra yeah. sparkles and extra fun. For sure, for sure. Thanks, Anjali. So yeah, there's 
an open invitation for you guys to join to both events. I'm sure that I'm gonna love them. I hope that you <laughs> will like them too. But yep, that's happening. Twitter Spaces this Thursday, May 25th, and then the karaoke birthday party on Friday, May 26th. And yeah, that's all for our birthday party. So, so really excited about that. Um, oh wow, I'm looking at the time right now. And before we continue, we only have a couple more items in the agenda to talk about today. But uh, considering the time, maybe it's a good moment to distribute the bow up. So let's do that real quick and also give another reminder later on. But for everyone in the audience listening, if you would like to claim today's bow up, all you have to do is to use slash bow up claim. So that's a slash command. You can use it in the state chat or in the general chat. It should work in any of those. Awesome. I see that nerd posted the command. So you can click that slash bow up claim. And then it will ask you for a claim phrase. And that's collab governance. It's all lowercase, no spaces in between. Collab governance. That would be C O. L L A B, just as in Claflin. Again, C O L L A B. And then G O V E R N A N C E. Collab governance, all lowercase. Again, no spaces in between. And as soon as you write that down, you hit enter and you will receive. A code to claim your PO app. Please let us know if it worked. And a quick reminder to please not share the secret phrase in a written format in any of the channels because that's against PO app policies. So we appreciate if you don't do that. But if you need to listen to the secret word again, let us know and we can do that. Oh, that's so cool. It gives you like a summary of the PO app. Awesome. All right, thank you guys. Just one more time, the secret phrase is collab governance. And in order to claim it, you need to use the slash command slash bow up claim. I got mine too. Awesome. All right, awesome. And now to our next um, item in the agenda. Oh, uh, this is also a very exciting one. Uh, we had collab and plays. We pulled together uh, last Sunday. I think it was really, really fun. I had no idea about how to play it, but it was very easy. And I had the best teammate ever. So even though we lost, I have no regrets. I think it was very, very fun. Uh, maybe Nerd, can you tell us a little bit more about um the game and how the event went uh during the weekend i can also show you that we have a whole twitter thread about it y'all i just posted it in the chat head on over there give that tweet some love that's for that one went out i believe yesterday yesterday monday i don't know it went out some i think it was monday monday afternoon um basically talking about this king of the king of the collab um collab Land plays event we did with pool together so we did one of those, um, I think it was the Counts of the East with uh, James Young and Andy Kaufman and Intrepid were the victors came out. They successfully uh, thwarted the Barons of the March and the Grandees of the South, who were uh, obviously the best team, Grandees, uh, Grandees for Life. Uh, what up? Um, <laughs> who were the most loyal to uh, to the King, but um they won some pool together delegation boosts they won some collab lens stickers check out that thread um and big ups to the counts of the east for winning that um we are playing again if you are interested <gasps> what playing again heck yeah we are we're playing again on june 4th in the pool together server so I'll drop a link to that one right there where you can hit that little interested button. Now, the problem is that one is in the pool together server. So like, what, how am I going to get in the pool together server, nerd? I'm not in there. I've never even heard of pool together. Well, 
lucky for you, I have a whole events thread right there that I just dropped a link to. Get all the links for Collabland plays, including the server invite, the event invite, um, and all that stuff on the sesh, uh, sesh event. If you hit the check mark on the sesh event, you'll get uh, you can get DM reminders from SeshBot, and that way you don't forget to show up. But that has the server invite in it. It has the events link in it. It has the FAQ thread link. It has the link to the pool together stage. It has all the stuff, all the links for the Cloudland Plays events happening there. Uh, it is super fun. We're playing again, um, and this might become a this might become a thing that we do uh, once a month. Uh, I'm super excited to uh, to see that. Hopefully, keep things uh, sticking around in the server. I'd love to see that happen. It's super fun. Show up. You should definitely show up and hear all of my weird, uh, weirdo voices. Thanks. I think that was one of the funniest parts. Everyone trying to make an accent. I am not good at it, but it was really fun to listen to other people. So, yeah, thanks for that, nerd. And yeah, looking forward for the next one. I think it was very fun. I know it's so hard. Like I, I tried. It's just not for me. Maybe I need to practice. So I will practice for the next one. Yes, that's what I'll do. All right. So that was for Globland Plays. Very fun. It was very, very fun. Um, next, I wanted to give mm, a reminder that our DevRel office hours um, schedule changed. We used to have this on thursdays every other week but now it was moved to wednesdays alternating with cto office hours so this week we have cto office hours but next week we will have several office hours on wednesdays instead of thursdays so just to give a quick reminder on that in case that you are interested or have attended to previous several office hours and would like to join the next ones and you were not aware of the change, now you are. So that's all for several office hours, just a quick reminder. But also they are hosted at 10.30 a.m. Eastern, again on Wednesdays, alternating with CTO office hours, which happens at the same time. Cool, and now, let's see, I think this is the last event that I would like to bring up for this section. And all right, this is Media Team Meetup, a recap for our last session. And maybe, Anjali, can you tell us a little bit about our last session and what Media Team is about? Yes, and I'm going to be so fast right now because we're at time and I don't want to go over too much. Um, okay, Media Team Meetup is every Friday at 1230 Eastern in unless once a month we might do this uh, mini app madness demo day. So we may lose one month or one day out of the month. Anyway, okay, let me, I said I was gonna go fast. Okay, last week's meetup highlights. Uh, we always give alpha to the media team meetup on Friday and then we announce it on Monday ourselves. And so um, come if you wanna get some scoop that the rest of the uh, crypto Twitter won't get till Monday. Uh, let's see, Ariane is in the audience. We've been talking to him about doing a MetaMerch store, and we're at the point now where he is sending me some samples of blanks that um, people have voted on that they're interested in seeing for a Collabland merch store. So he's going to send me those, not with Collabland printed on them, but just samples so we can take a look at what the um, quality of the materials and if everyone, you know, we can describe them correctly and all that good stuff. Uh, I don't know if you know, but over the weekend, there was a lot of um, hubbub over merch and hoodie quality and all of that. So it's just, we're doing our little bit to make sure we're describing everything correctly because we don't want anyone's, um, anyone to feel misled. Okay, so that we're working with him. It's metamerch.store if you wanna check it out. He also takes crypto, which is huge for all of us. And we're very excited about that. Um, and then also Matthew.eth had a new article about Collabland. Let me put it, or maybe Chibi, if you can put it in the chat. Let's see. Absolutely. Maybe. Yeah. Thank you for that, Chibi. Yeah, Chibi will drop it into the chat, Matthew.Eats article. Anybody else wants to write an article or wants to do a podcast with us or anything like that, let me know. I'm totally into it and available for that. So um, 
let me know. And then um, that also same thing goes for playing King of the Castle some more. So if you're part of a community or a group of friends that would want to play um, King of the Castle with the Collabland crew in our server, um, hit us up. Let's play together. It's just a fun way to um, get messages about DAOs and working together in a fun way. So, uh, you know, getting that that vitamin in with your uh, spoonful of sugar um so definitely come and check it out also if you want us to follow you let's all media team follow each other uh i'm dama de roca on twitter it says anjali slash dama de roca so that second part is my twitter address um if you follow me tell me you're from media team i'll follow you back otherwise put your twitter handle in the media team channel and we can follow each other um and then to get your media team role go to hashtag get roles all right thank you chibi Thank you so much. All right. So this was for Media Team Meetup. I adore these meetups. I think they're very fun. And they happen in the Meetup's voice channel. So feel free to join. Even if you just want to say hi, um, you are all welcome to join. And, and we really appreciate you joining our Discord events and our meetups. So thank you, Anjali, for talking a little bit about that. And also, if you are part of a community and would like to host an event with us, um, a game or any other kind of event, an AMA or, or anything fun, please feel free to reach out to us because we would love to do that. Um, I think it's super fun to, to have these kind of events with our communities. And... Yeah, we would really love that. So feel free to reach out. You can tag us in in the server, in the chats, or yeah, to, you can reach out to us. Maybe we have via Twitter as well. Send a DM to Glavin on Twitter. How about IRL events? Huh. I guess it depends on the event, but you can also reach out and then we can talk about it. I think that'd be fun too. Um, lastly, if you live in Lisbon or are planning to go to NFC Lisbon, you can re reach out to Anjali or to me, Chibi, because we have some tickets. They're a limited number, but if you're planning to go, I think that we can um, give a ticket to you. So feel free to reach out about that as well. And wow, well, that would be all for today's town hall i want to give one more reminder for the bow up for anyone listening um if you haven't claimed your bow up yet and would like to do that you can use the slash command bow up claim in any of the chats and when it asks you for the secret phrase you will write collab governance that's Again, the secret phrase to claim today's bow up. So if you haven't yet, give it a try. Let us know if it worked. And I think that's all. Uh, we may have some last reminders to share with everyone in the audience. Anjali, do you have any reminders? Yes, sorry. I was complaining in the chat about um, how my IP address has been blocked by POAP. And that's because uh, last time we were playing on Sunday, my son was also playing the game um, and James was playing the game and I was playing the game and we all went to collect the POAP and so we got banned because I think POAP <laughs> thinks that we're POAP farming, even though it was just three people in the same house anyway or same apartment okay so some reminders uh we have a community admin channel love to see community admins gather share best practices talk amongst yourselves um and or if you need want to reach out to me or reach out to anybody else we can like maybe help with some problem that's come up um so we would love for you to participate in that way go to get get roles uh, channel which is hashtag get roles we have media team meetup on friday um already mentioned that and then we have cto and devrel office hours alternating on wednesdays so that is uh 10 a.m eastern every wednesday there's going to be something at 10 a.m eastern it'll either be cto office hours or it'll be devrel office hours both are fantastic please do come um raymond is our tco i mean cto and he is fantastic 
Um, he is truly an educator, really in his soul. And so um, coming to an event and being able to listen to him explain something, uh, it's for technical people, just mentioning that you're going to, if you're a technical person or if you're interested in the technology behind what we do, then you're going to want to come to CTO office hours. Uh, that's going to be tomorrow. So this is a CTO office hours week. And then the alter, he alternates with um, Kenny, who is our director, DevRel director, and he is less technical. Um, he's also technical, but less technical and more for a general audience. So if you're interested in more of a general audience, look at what Collabland does behind the scenes, uh, come to DevRel office hours. If you're more tech heavy, uh, I could not speak more about Raymond and his CTO office hours. Thanks, Chibi. Sure, thank you, Anjali. Lastly, come join our town halls on Tuesdays every week at 12.30 p.m. Eastern. You can find the recordings for our town halls and also for our CTO office hours several office hours, every other event that we do, uh, the recordings post inside the events room channel. You can find all of the recordings in there and also in our YouTube channel. I think that's all we can wrap things up. Thank you everyone for joining the town hall today. Please stay tuned to our events and our announcements channels if you would like to be up to date when it comes to any news, any exciting updates regarding Collabland and any of the events that are happening. And yeah, thanks also for, for everyone in the stage. Thank you, Anjali, James, Candy, and Nerd for joining today. It's been great having you guys. Thank you, Chibi. Always fun. And to everybody in the um, audience today, thank you for being a part of our community. We love having you on our town halls. This is really a joy for us um, every week. We all look forward to being here, and I hope it shows. For sure. Thanks again, and we'll see you all next time. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Thanks for hosting, Chibi. It's super exciting to be able to share what, uh, what we've been working so hard on with the community. Mm -hmm. Totally agree. All right. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.